Hello, 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 everyone. It's Buddy Sweet here, and welcome back. Today, we are back here on the Smelt MC server, and we are finally going to be starting work on our lovely iron farm. Since last episode, I've done a little bit more lighting up down here. The world's slowly loading in because I haven't loaded it and got the render distance down a bit low. But I've also started aging some lovely copper, and I have also expanded. Let's just wait for the connection to grab on here. It's just going a little bit slow. Should catch up eventually. I have gone ahead and dug out just, just a little bit more. So I'm going to eventually expand the farm down there. But that should be working all right. But today, we're finally going to get that lovely iron farm up and going. And I'm pretty much just going to get straight into doing it. I've got some of the supplies... Well, most of them should pretty much be. It's a nice, simple farm, and it's going to fit in the layout of this here. Well, that's actually the building design, I should say. The actual farm is going to fit just pretty much right in this area here. Nice and simple. So pretty much, first off, we need to start working on the base of it, which, yeah, is going to be... A very basic one and I'm not going to be working on all the colors and everything at the moment it's just gonna be just simple flat building for now and it will improve with time to make it look just a little bit more tidy or a little bit more fancy I should say okay so this is pretty much the entire size of the farm this rest of this is going to be a building just to make it look a little bit nicer but this is the entire footprint of the farm here nice and simple i've just slabbed the outside for now because we're going to build up around this and i'm probably going to do it the wrong way around but i'm going to build the farm first then build around which is probably going to have some issues with the golem spawning where they shouldn't do but oh well so this is well, we've got pretty much a little center down here and this is where we're going to be placing our storage chest it just places right down in the center there and then we get our lovely glass pane which goes right there then we place down our first of our lovely fence gates there and I'll just quickly grab some cobblestone and I might as well use that there place one of those there and then open three of the fence gates I can be able to jump up and down with these lovely boots, which just give me a little bit of a jump boost, which is fantastic with all these custom enchantments. And to stop these fence gates from burning, so I'm going to be putting lava here, place down a lovely couple bits of string. If we make sure we place them right, that's not meant to go there, that's meant to go on top of that there. That should stop those from burning, and we're going to chuck in our lovely block of <laughs> our lovely bit of lava in there and two water sources and that's the entire killing chamber done very very simple to do and next up we need to build in the lovely spawning platform for the golems which that involves a couple beds and three villages and a zombie and that's it and the farm's pretty much working once we get to that stage so next up we need to start building on the next platform which will be slightly up in the air here i'm just going to go ahead and get some of those lovely scaffolding blocks because i think that should be a little bit more easier to use i'm not exactly sure okay got a little bit sidetracked there's a pillager caravan over this way here somewhere i'm going to have an attempt at trying to destroy it it's probably going to go south, but we shall find out what will happen. I think it's this way. It's a little bit tricky to tell if I'm heading in the right direction or not, or is it this way? It's it's in one of the directions anyway. Looks like it's this way here by the looks. Let's just jump up here. It's in behind the lovely base. God, I need to get myself some lovely rockets to speed my travels up. So it, sh it should be hiding around here then. Oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. I don't think... 
Oh. <laughs> it's those guys. Uh oh. This is not good. <laughs> I'm definitely too weak to fight them. <laughs> I didn't realize they were going to be this strong. Okay, I'm just going to have an attempt at whacking them with their hacks. Uh, run away! Jeez! I've got them on fire! Oh, they hit hard, they hit hard. <laughs> I need to probably get myself a better food source, I suppose, or at least... Let's just try and get rid of one of the, one of the guys, at least. Oh, okay, got another one on fire, got another one on fire. Just keep running around eating food. Oh no! <laughs> just keep running around. I'm gonna be dead shortly. Let's just try and get some bit of food, baby. <laughs> as long as I don't go for my villagers are in there. Um, let's hopefully I've got some better supplies in here. Don't follow me over too quick. Do it. Oh. It's not too good, but... Oops, no, he's just here. He's just there. He's just there. <laughs> Jeez, I'm tensing up so much. Jeez, they run so quick, don't they? Oops. Okay, let's just... Let's just... Go in. Oops, no, that didn't work. Okay. Let's just go back over here then. Jeez, I need to get some better armor. Oops. Okay, I've lagged out. Where have you gone, buddy? Oops. Oop. Okay, cool. Come on. I know I'm lagging out still. Damn, connection gets me when I die. Very irritating. Okay, let's just go and try and find these guys in, eating my pretty pathetic bits. Where have they gone to? Oh, so they're still around then. Let's just try and get rid Oh, jeez. Jeez, pretty strong. Really? Did that actually kill him? That kind of that couldn't have killed him, surely. Did it? What? I'm a bit confused. What's happened just there? So did it just vanish in? Okay, a bit confused. Oh well. I suppose it died, maybe. I'm still I'm still really learning how all this stuff works. Oh well, I'd better go back. I got some some merchant scrolls. Okay, so here's the top of the farm. It is 18 blocks up to here, roughly. So hopefully I have got that there correct. Oops. I'm, still, I'm not sure how those there work. It's a bit irritant. You can't shift click on them. So it's pretty much just placing down the lovely fence gates there. And pretty much placing water either end here. And this is the platform of which the lovely iron golems spawn in. And then the water pushes them along and they fall down this two wide chute perfectly down there and they burn up. But we don't want to put the water, we don't need the water in there quite just yet. Instead, 
we're going to be placing our lovely lovely spawn platforms down here for where the villagers will be going so we're just gonna go down here somewhere we're going down one two three and on the fourth one is going to be where we're going to be placing the beds so we just lift that there up slightly and we want to make sure that these villages cannot escape so we're going to be doing a bed here a bed there so they should be perfectly in line or well, not in line with that there let's just quickly find our beds and now power vault one which is actually very handy for chucking junk and that all around so we need to have the beds placed somewhere along this direction and I'll just quickly get rid of that there and this is where the villagers will be housed i'm pretty sure i've got it in the right location because we have glass that encases this so they don't fall out that is in the player vault as well and that places them around like so and we're pretty much just going to be trapping the villagers in here so they keep spawning up on their beds and jumping up and around okay so just flip the beds around here and this is where we're going to be putting in our lovely villagers so we're we'll dropping them down here so we we'll just remove the slots and we will be dropping them down from the top should be easiest in theory okay this should be number one villager just about to go in beautiful that is good and good to start off with okay we've got our next two just in there which that is not how they're meant to go there we go we've got one villager in, two villager and three villagers in now it is time to drop in the lovely zombie just in behind there there we go folks we've finally got a zombie in there and i'm going to call it biker girl after the zombie from the walkie dead the first one rick comes across and i'm just going to remove these helper blocks here and just make it spawn proof so iron golems can't spawn on top of the glass there and hopefully we get some spawning in shortly and yes this is recorded afterwards because the audio went a little bit whack on me so we're going to go up top and let's hopefully see if we've got a lovely iron golem spawned in beautiful we've got our first iron golem spawn in there so just about hidden how we do for this farm is next place in the lovely water buckets in either corner there and the farm will be up and running so iron golem will fall down there oh that was close and he will now burn up and the iron will be going down into this whoops going down into this lovely section down here there we go our first ever iron now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and i'm pretty much just going to go and start building this building and i'm going to show you in steps because otherwise this video is going to drag on too long i'd love to be able to do like a little time lapse video but that's not possible as i'm not allowed a second account on here and also no mods are allowed so i can't use the replay mod sadly so I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to show you in stages of what it looks like. So I'll see you guys once I get the, I suppose, the bottom layer sort of done. Here we go, folks. Here is the bottom layer down. It's a little bit ugly with this here, but we're going to be putting the roof on very shortly. And this is what it looks like. So hopefully it looks all right. Let's see if we can kick down. So I've just gone ahead and added some orange stained glass there, and that should be all right. And I've just put in some black i think it's called black deep slate there and that should hopefully just create an effect that it's dark inside because we're going to eventually be putting farms inside of here so hopefully it'll be work out all right and the next step i have to do is go ahead and add on a lovely roof and this iron farm is actually producing good enough except i've got the slight issue of iron golem spawning that that out there which that should be sorted out when i actually put on the roof hopefully that sorts it out because it's only just temporary at the moment but it has been slowly working i have just been popping up there now and then and getting rid of them because yeah i've got lovely pressure plates on there but i'm not sure how to stop them but yeah as i said the design will be working on and looking a lot better very shortly so next step I need to go ahead and put on a lovely roof and that shouldn't be too long it should look quite nice and 
hopefully fit the style. So I'll see you guys. Oops. I'll see you guys in a split second. That split second is now over, and here is our lovely church. It looks quite good from a distance, but I've got one issue that I cannot resolve. I don't think it happened, but we have got iron golems spawning on the roof. This did not happen when I tested the farm out, so yeah, I'm a bit confused on what the heck to do. Like, they just keep spawning up here. I am losing my mind. This is pretty much just a waste of time. Because I never knew that iron golems could spawn on stairs. I thought that would be counted as a block. So I thought they would not spawn on here. And in the test world, I did not seem to get any to spawn on here. So I thought, oh, I'll go ahead and add a layer of string. That should help stop them spawning. But no, that didn't work. So I added another one. Because I thought, oh, that will block their three high spawn platform, uh, three high spawn blocks. But no, they're still spawning in. And I just, I don't know what to do. And yes, I installed a texture pack just to try and help see where the string are in case I was missing out any spots. But no, that's not the situation. These little shits keep spawning in. So my only other thoughts to do is to pretty much just, just <laughs> get rid of the farm that's in here. I think because this is a copy off Exumavoid's Hermitcraft video, how I built this farm. I didn't, he had a bigger tower going around the outside, and I did not want to do a too big a tower. So that's probably half the issue. So this fine farm is useless, pretty much. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm pretty much going to decommission it. And it was pretty much a total waste of time building this here. But if any of you guys have any ideas on how I could make this work, let me know. Because, yeah. I love the idea of it, but the church tower just needs to be quite a bit more bigger. So yeah, it's a bit annoying. But anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm just going to tidy this place up a little bit more. I have done a little bit of dirt going around the outside, but make it look a little bit more pretty. And then I'm going to call it quits for today. I've spent enough time fluffing around doing this, and it has actually been quite a while making this little church since recording clips and that there, but yeah, I spent quite a bit of time stringing that up and just trying to figure out why. Like, the occasional one will spawn inside the tower there, but majority of them will spawn on the outside, so yeah, I'm not sure what to do with that. So yeah, waste of time. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead, tidy this area up a bit more, and I'll see you guys very shortly for one last clip. Okay, run right here is the lovely church now somewhat completed. I need to do a bit more work on it, I still think. We've got a lovely little bit of glow going around there. As you can see a bit of glow lichen just to bring up the lovely cross. Added some lovely windows in there. And I'm no person for decoration or making things look pretty, so it's all a work in progress. I've added some little flower beds here with a couple bamboos, which is limited with a bit of string on top little pathway going around the outside here a little bit of overgrowth going in the garden it's not the best maintained some of the lovely coral bits just to add a little bit of dead or moss to the back the back side here is a bit plain at the moment so it'll be a work in progress so yeah it's looking all right in my opinion and i seem to have managed to get the iron farm working all right i've just cleaned it out just recently but to do that there whoops let's just go fly up to do that there i pretty much just removed all the string because that's not going to work and i discovered that the iron golems are naturally coming up here anyway and quite often they'll lock on somehow just lock on sight with the lovely zombie there and they'll just run in and fall down and these trap doors help here because i think they can walk over so that is solved that issue after that little rant but as you can see every now and then they spawn in on top of the stairs and the walls here but quite often they move themselves out. Then they walk in here. And I've got the lovely copper going along the roof. Managed to miss a couple spots with the um, wax. But I think this is actually looking alright. And this is like, what? Well, it's good having the rockets now. I bought some from the shop. But it's a work in progress. I'm no 
expert builder. But yeah, I'm going to try and work on these skills like this one here. And in the next episode, come on, you can do it, internet. I'll be working on like, probably another a mob spawner to try and get myself a good supplyable source of XP. And hopefully it's less laggy next time. I'm going to be trialing a new computer because this one here is getting pretty dodgy anyway. Getting a bit slow. Internet connection doesn't help anyway. But that's what we're going to call it for today. I hope you guys all enjoyed. I would go into F5 mode, but there's an issue with the skins getting to the server at the moment. So I look like this ugly Steve character. The original Minecrafter. Before my lovely skin was introduced anyway. So this is what it looks like. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this bit of a ramble and fluff around. Got the issue dissolved. Or worked out somewhat. And the farm, perfect design from Exuma. It's a bit annoying that I made the church temple a bit small but i think this is the perfect situation and for the theme i'm sort of trying to do for this village hope you all guys all enjoy it and i'll see you guys in episode four whatever that will be should be out shortly we shall see thank you for watching and enjoy the rest of your day